On June 7, 1892, Homer Pussy, a seventh-eighth white and one-eighth black, got tricked and bought a first-class ticket. This meant that he rode on an only white's train. The station called the police and he was kicked out at the next station. Even though he was an octoroon, Homer Pussy got arrested for going on to a whites-only train because he was marked as a colored man. Four years later, on April 13, 1896, people like Albion Torgi defended Homer Plessy with the 13th and 14th Amendment. However, he was still charged with a $25 fine by Judge Ferguson. The 13th Amendment stated that there is no more slavery in America, and the 14th Amendment stated that all citizens are equal. This meant Homer Pussy, a free man, should have been innocent. Sadly, as a result of this court case, the Jim Crow laws was made and they excluded the colors from all the nice restaurants, toilets, water fountains, and schools. However, on May 17, 1954, the Jim Crow laws started disappearing when the Brown vs. Board of Education finally made segregation in public schools illegal. This case also sparked the beginning of the civil rights movement as well as the end of all segregation in America. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. In conclusion, the Plessy v. Ferguson court case stated that separate but equal laws was constitutional in public facilities. The direct effect was tragic, but the long-term effect was the dream of all the Negroes in America.